Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Blue Eddy AC180. This is a 1800 watt portable power station with 1152 watt hour. This thing is perfect. This is the sweet spot right here. This is perfect for van life, apartments, high rise. If you cannot use a generator, this is actually perfect for you. This is something you can carry around. It only weighs around 35 pounds, so it's not that heavy. This one, we're gonna show you some of the great features. Um, app, internal charger, no brick. It has a, quite a few lithium ion phosphate battery. So there's a few pluses on this. Let's get it on the table so I can take you, uh, I can give you a closer look. I like to do a lineup for you guys to kind of show you the size difference between a like a EB3A and this over here this is the next one we're going to be focusing on this is the AC200L so for those of you looking for a inverter generator or portable power station for your RV this is going to be awesome can't wait to do this one but we're going to focus on the AC180 right now let's get started okay guys there it is the Blue Eddy AC180 1,800 watts, 1,152 watt hour. You can see it right here. Over here, you can put up to 500 watts of solar into this thing, 12 to 60 volts. Just make sure that your solar panels are rated for 12 to 60, and you should be fine, up to 500 watts. Over here, we have a DC output, cigarette lighter style, or 12 volt output. This one, 12 volt, 10 amps. Right on the bottom over here, you can see your USB port. This one has one USB-C 100 and four USB-A 3 amp. Your power button over here, your DC power, and your AC power over here. One, two, three, four, 120 volt, 20 amp output. Let's turn this on so you can see that display. On the display, I love the fact that you can see your input watts and your output watts at the same time. You also have your 100% battery life, I already charged this one up, and your time on the bottom. So eco mode only means that if there's no power for a certain amount of time, it will shut itself off. Okay. On the top, this one does have the wireless phone charger. With 35 pounds, they give you two handles so two people can pick this up or one person can get around by themselves. I love the wireless charger. I like the simple brick look of this thing. It's just a really attractive unit. All right, let's turn on the DC. Once you hit the DC, you'll be able to use your wireless charging. So you could just get your phone and throw it on top. Just having the phone on the charger, I'm pulling right about nine watts just to charge the phone. Just jumped up to 10. Okay, and this right here would be your AC that would turn on your plugs. There you go. Let's turn it to the side. On this side, you just have the, the fan. And that's it. It's the, this is your probably um, exhaust side. On the back side, you get all your um, stats right here. Your model number, input, tells you everything you need to know. So you want to find something out, you just go to the back and you see it right here. Battery capacity, 1,152 watt hour. It's a 32 volt battery. This is the other side. You have the other fan to keep this thing cool. Over here, you have your ground plug, a restart, and then your internal charger. So no brick internal charging. You just get one of those standard computer plugs, plug it right in there, and it will charge the system. You can go up to 1,440 watts charging off the AC. One thing I like about the Blue Eddy is app control. So you come over here, you select device, AC 180 there you have it everything you need right there on your phone you can control it'll show you how much coming in from the grid solar your battery DC AC we can turn this off right here see it's, you could see all your 
voltage settings. It's putting out 120 volts right now. Let's go back. Let's turn on the off the DC. Let's turn off the AC. There you go. So it is app control. For those of you wondering, you can control everything on the app. You can even turn the complete system off. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take this thing outside. I'm going to see exactly what it can pull. Let's see if we can handle the 1,800 watts on this unit. Just to show you guys that you, when you buy this, you can and it will power exactly what you need. So let's get it outside and do some testing. All right, guys, so we got it set up outside. We have a microwave, a small heater, ceramic heater, a light. The light is just to display the UPS function. I want you to actually see how much the light flashes when I switch from AC to battery. So the light is just going to show you that split moment where it switches over. And one of the hardest thing I have to start is this little compressor. So if you guys want to use this in the shop or in the back of the truck one day, just power in a small air compressor. I want to show you that it can do that with 1800 watts. And But before we do that, I just want to show you guys the box it comes with. And this is the box that has all your charging, like your MC4 for your solar. This is the AC, so you can charge it on wall, wall power AC. And a 12 volt plug, so you can actually plug this in your car. This is the slowest function of charging at 12 volt, but it's available and if you're just driving somewhere you want to do a quick charge you can plug it in and it'll charge let's turn on the power the ac you'll see the light comes on once that ac power is introduced there you go you heard the microwave came on also get that reset so let's put one minute on the microwave i have some water in here that microwave is pulling right around 1400 watts You hear the fan came on on the AC 180. So if you have a microwave, no problem. In that situation, you just have to know that um, once you're running something, just you know shut something off. Like I would turn the heater off. I would turn off my heater, get my food warm. Then once I'm done with that, I can go back to my heat or whatever I'm doing. Something like that, you have to load shed. All right, there you go. Now I'll turn right into the heater. This heater has a few settings. It has a 500 watt setting. It's pulling right around 600. Number two, right around 900. Number three, around the same. The fan came up a little bit. And then number four, just like the microwave, 1,400. So the microwave and the heater pulls around the same power. Now, the hardest one I have to start is this right here. Let's see if it starts it. Surged all the way up to 2,400. And it started it with no problem. It's letting the light flicker a little bit. Even something like that, I don't see a problem running it. Now, these things, it's not starting them that's the hard part. It's when it already has air and you try to restart it. That's the part that might not work. Let's try it again. No problem. Okay, so it does have enough power to restart the air compressor. Now, we're gonna do a load test. Let's see exactly how far we can take it before it trips the AC. Let me get some load. 
so we can put this thing all the way up to 1,800 watts. We're going to try to hold it for a little bit and see exactly where it trips. All right, guys, so now we're going to do a load test. We're going to try to take it to its max power. Okay, so we're at zero. Let's turn on the, the Variac. So we're going to pull some serious power from this thing. Let's get it up to 1,800. Max power. All right, right there, 1,800 watts. No problem. Handles its output just fine. Real quiet fan. I have to say, uh, the fan on this one, really quiet. 1,800 watts, 60 hertz, absolutely no problem. Let's see how far we can take it. There you go, 1,900. Two thousand. Two thousand two hundred. There you go. Two thousand two hundred and ninety three watts, and it overloaded. So that's the max. That's pretty good. All right. So we've seen our max. Let's go ahead and restart that fault. Okay, there you have it. Real simple. Once you overload, just hold down the AC button for five, three to five seconds. It will reset your code, and you're ready to go again. So we see no max. Let's see how clean the power is on this unit. All right, guys. There you have it. It does have a pure sine wave. On the oscilloscope, you can see that, right? It's putting out a pure sine wave. It does have a little distortion right there. But for the most part, pretty clean power. So now that we are at 90%, still not low to where we can get our full power. But now I want to show you guys how the UPS feature works on this unit. So this is our charge port right here for AC. Let's turn our light on. Let's turn the AC on so we can see that light. Okay, we can see our pure sine wave come up. Now I'm gonna plug it in. And I want you to realize right there it's pulling 46 watts from the light, from the AC. Let's plug that in. See that little flash, that little flicker from the light? That's because now it's switched to AC, so it's just running everything off the AC and recharging at the same time. 900, 1000, 1090. It's not gonna pull the full input power because it's at 90, but this thing can charge real fast so now it's charging I want to show you something I'm gonna disconnect it that light will flicker a little bit show you that you will not lose power on your load you see how fast that was so that's UPS function and it's one of my favorite features on these portable power stations if you don't have UPS I really don't like them because the whole point of this is to keep that refrigerator running in a power outage so when the power goes off and you're at work you don't have to come home to a whole fridge full of hot and warm food hey there you have it guys ac 180 just a quick load test on it show you guys what it can do guys this is perfect unit um, with the all the features it have app control awesome display wireless charging dc 500 watt solar input, 1,440 charging on AC. You can't beat it. Awesome price, awesome unit. Guys, 
Thanks for watching this quick review of the Blue Eddy AC180. If you guys do want to get one of these, I will have the link to Blue Eddy's website in the description. So you can go down there and check it out and see what this goes for. Guys, thanks for watching this quick review of the 180, AC180. Guys, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.